On Thursday, April 21st, I realized Bandit was not moving all day. He did not react to the lunge whip. He wasn't getting up. I couldn't coax him up, and I realized something was wrong. I looked him over. I couldn't see anything immediately alarming. I knelt down and checked his legs. I felt up his front pretty thoroughly. couldn't figure out anything wrong. It was certainly uncharacteristic of him. I made sure to go down, all the way down, and checked his paws. Now I go over to his rear. I lifted his leg slightly. There it is. Oh, honey. Shh, shh, shh. It was really obvious to me at, at that point that something serious had happened. In the past when he had howled or cried, it was very dramatic and he would be back up and running in no time, but this was very obviously something seriously wrong. As soon as I could, I rushed him to the emergency vet where they took x-rays and did what's called a drawer test in which they pull the tibia forward from the femur to see if there is a ligament tear. Hey, buddy. Shortly after he came back home, he was prescribed rest because they couldn't actually tell if the, there was a complete tear. And he quickly figured out how to hop just on one hind leg, but he was never really putting pressure down on that hind leg. A few days later, we noticed swelling. There was a lot of swelling in his hawk. In certain positions, it was actually the size of a baseball, and this was very worrying. It happened very suddenly. We rushed him back to the emergency vet as quickly as we could, where the second doctor told us that it was definitely a cruciate ligament tear, that the first drawer test determined that and that we needed to start thinking about surgery. The only other options he told us were basically pain management. From that point onward, we began researching as much as possible into ligament tears, but unfortunately the pain was getting significantly worse and the swelling was getting a lot worse too. He stopped wanting it's to move entirely. Hard for me to rotate the leg without causing discomfort and especially with the swelling like it's hard for me to rotate it without also moving the knee which I don't want to do because he's in pain but oh my gosh like it's like play-doh I can press and like look there's a dent after that last video we took him to the emergency vet for the third time this time we actually made an appointment we were going to get him ultrasounded to see if there was a lot more tissue damage than previously thought when we got to the emergency vet, the third specialist that we had seen said that it did not look to her like a ligament tear. And after reading thoroughly through the first doctor's notes, she said that no, he didn't actually fail the drawer test. They couldn't get an accurate drawer test because the swelling was so significant. And she suspected that it was a bacterial joint infection. So that very same day, we dropped Bandit off, uh, left, and he went into surgery at 5 o'clock. It was exactly one week after I first noticed his injury. They tapped his knee, drained all the fluid out, uh, evaluated the fluid, then opened him up to flush all the bacteria out. Uh, this infection is also what's known as joint ill in livestock, much more common in livestock than it is in dogs. It's actually pretty rare in dogs. And... Uh, he went through surgery great, um, handled everything fine. They kept him overnight, and in about an hour, I'm going to go pick him up today and hope he's doing fine. Bandit is home. Oh my gosh, he is so much more animated. He's fast. He's back to his usual pulling ways. He really scoots around. Look at, look at how much the swelling has gone down. It's still a little puffy around the incision, but... His hawk looks great, <laughs> aside from being naked. Um, he had a, a little lesion on the back of his other hawk and then um, that bandage is, um, it's basically a patch narcotic to help with pain. Um, so they've got him doped up pretty well, but he's a happy boy, he's much better. He thinks he's going on a walk. Come on, Bandy. We basically just have to keep him on a leash um, anytime he's roaming because Gotta control it. Yay, Bandy!